I am Jeff, and I have a tip for you. Well, more of a tutorial, actually. I want to show you guys how to use a ragged hierarchy. It's a specialized type of hierarchy, right? The difference being a standard hierarchy is balanced. They always have the same number of elements on each side. Ragged hierarchies can be kind of weird, like one could be going lower, multiple elements. They're really useful, but the problem with them is it does take a little bit of setup to get a ragged hierarchy working. So let's take a look. If you want to build one, you do go to the ragged section, obviously, and you would drag your data source on. But let me show you the data source first. So the way you want to set this up is you need to have an ID for every element in here, some kind of name field. In my case, I have two, but you know, pick one, doesn't matter. In a parent ID field. So for every element, you have to tell it whose parent element is going to be and then what level everything's going to be on. So the structure basically has to be that. One ID, one name, one parent, one level. From there, you'll be able to generate something like this. This is one that I built using the tree diagram. And you can see what I mean by parent, right? If you look at Joshua here, his parent is going to be Bobby. So that ID would be a Bobby's ID. So a big part of this comes down to making sure your data is structured to actually be able to give this structure for the ragged hierarchy. So let's go ahead and build it. Let's take some data. So in my case, I have it uh, broken down. I have this organizational dimension table. That's what we're going to use to build the hierarchy. So just drag it on. Name matches to whatever name you want to use. ID is the ID field. Sorry, that's the parent. Should be parent ID field. ID and then level. Once you have those matching, it will generate the hierarchy. And you should be able to test it and see all the different levels that we've got here. So that's the first step. Give it a name. Um, I'm going to delete this later, so hierarchy one is fine. Then we go to our dashboard. Now, to actually use the hierarchy, this is another place where the data has to be a little bit specialized. So you notice in my case, I have a fact table for this organization. Now, all this is providing is the ID we want to use and some number that we want to bind to. Now, in my case, I'm trying to build an org chart, so I'm not really displaying any data for it. So I just put a bunch of ones, that's fine. But you may very well have data you want to bind to each element. Now, what you need to understand about the fact table is that it can't contain what we call non leaf elements. I'll show you what I mean by that. If you take a look at this one, you can see that everybody who doesn't Everyone who's not a parent is considered a leaf. So all these ones at the bottom, this, these guys here, this one there, someone like Bobby, we wouldn't want to include in the table. You just include the leaf elements. So make sure that's set up properly. If you do this and you have non-leaf elements in here, it's going to throw an error because the aggregation gets messed up when you do this. So if you've got the data, you can delete that other table. We can then go to our hierarchy. Uh, I'm in the wrong project here. Let me go to the right one. And there it is. And what I can do is essentially replace that ID field with the hierarchy that we built. And I can even ask for specific levels. So if I drag that in like that, uh, just to be consistent, uh, let me make this that tree diagram that you just saw. Now, right now, the hierarchy is collapsed. It's only showing the highest level. So what we want to do is go into the data analysis panel. Open up the rows dimension and then go to parameters. From here, you can see the level that's being displayed. And there's a little token you can set. So you can tell it to just show all members. So if I do that, now it's going to go and break out the entire thing. Now, the only difference between what I just showed you and where I am now is just a little bit of styling uh, on the control. Now, if you are doing an org chart, these can get huge. So just keep in mind that you can zoom and scroll these. So it may make sense to have it at a certain level or even have certain levels collapsed. That's certainly possible as well, right? You, well, that's a bit deep, but yeah, collapse it down to maybe higher level managers and then be able to expand from there or even implement some search functionality. There's quite a few ways you could do this. Hope this helps.